Good morning, everybody. Hey, Bobby. Good morning. Good morning, Bobby. Give everybody time to get in. Let me share my screen. I don't think good morning. I only have one screen today because um, it's kind of like a holiday weekend here. So bear with me while I try to figure this out. Uh, my laptop screens are in my way. So hold on just a second. Ooh, this is going to be challenging. So does everybody see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. That's the antitrust policy. This is a Linux Foundation sponsored call. It is being recorded and we have a code of conduct and an antitrust policy. They're displayed on the screen. Please take a moment to review them. Again, everybody who's on the call has seen all this before, so we're just going to get right into it. So the TOC meeting was canceled this week, so I'm not specifically on the schedule. So whatever this group conscious comes up with the, uh, for the presentation, if you want it to be um, this Thursday or next Thursday, um, I would shoot for next Thursday since we're not even um, on the agenda, but they would take us this Thursday. Um, for the presentation. Um, again, the presentation is going to be um, a slide for every one of the initiatives we're working on this summer. We will speak to, or you guys are gonna speak to uh, what the goals are for each one of those initiatives, uh, what our plans are to get us there. Um, and then we'll be off on our summer journey to accomplish those things that we said. Um, and along the way, we're going to do other presentations and help out the mentees. Um, so with that said, um, I'm going to have everybody introduce it. Now, again, I'm working on only one screen. Usually I have like five. So if it takes me a little longer today to move from screen to screen, that's because I'm only on one. So let me see if I can edit this. Oh, good. Now, everybody's basically been on the call and know what's going on and we're kind of familiar with each other. So if you just want to um, introduce yourself and just say what you want to work on today, that would be great. And I'm going to start with Arunama. Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Arunama Chaudhary. Uh, I will be, uh, I'm a LFKS mentee for this summer with Happy Ledger and I'm also leading the uh, Hyperledger documentation task force and helping out everyone as much as I can. And uh, as of now, I think we will have a presentation on 6th July. So I've prepared a basic template and uploaded it right in the top of the page. So maybe you can have a look at it. And uh, I will also give, if, uh, give the right access so that everyone can start editing and perform the task on their respective pages. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'll load that as soon as I finish typing everybody's name in. Um, and then Ankasha, you want to go next? Let me update this. Uh, sure, Leah. Am I audible enough? Yes. Okay, cool. So, hi, everyone. My name is Akanksha and I am LFX mentee for onboarding project this year. And I'm also working on documentation as the on onboarding lead i am like handling onboarding on the documentation project as well so uh, right now um, talking with regard to onboarding uh, we have you know we have discussed uh, certain things with old contributors and uh, like uh, my mentor is here nico is here so we had a an a meet last uh, la uh, last week we had a meet with old contributor like 
arun arun and we had discussed a lot of things and he gave feedback on the onboarding thing like how can we proceed with the project this year and then uh, like a lot of things happened i made a project plan for the onboarding one and you can even check that uh what exactly the how the uh, flow of onboarding will be going on it's a rough uh it's a rough uh project for a rough uh plan for now but like it's uh it gives the idea of what exactly we'll be working on i can even share the link if you guys want to check uh, how the onboarding will go on uh, uh that's what we did last week and uh, we have uh we have scheduled one more meet for the onboarding one separately because onboarding means a lot of things you know we need to work on it so on wednesdays we have an other calls for that uh, but right now uh, talking about onboarding if there is any more update i'll definitely update in the documentation project and yeah that's uh, all the all, everything about this week. That's great. Thank you. And yeah, we will go to that um, and open that um, project plan up when we get to onboarding. Um, we're going to do the introductions and then just go through this slide that's on the screen um, for everyone to speak to their part on it. So thank you so much for all the work and for, you know, coordinating with us. It's really, really, really appreciated. Gianluca. Yes. Hi for everyone. I'm Gianluca. Uh, Capuzzi from Italy. I'm a software engineer and uh, I'd like to contribute uh, to GitHub and template subtopics as chair is if uh, is it possible and uh, also and to the other topics uh, as a mentee and also I joined uh, to um, a call uh, in the past uh, about the climate change and I'm waiting for um, some um, help some condition from 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 them and um uh, I'm, I'm here so i can uh, uh, can participate to to the uh, next uh, meeting and uh, also to um to the, to the presentation uh, so I, I can thank you um i have a couple questions off topic real quick just because you said you were in the climate call um what part of the climate call because i know they have like different subsections one's working on standards one's working on this what call did you um go on and what are they working on okay uh, sig is the name of the uh, the team and uh, i con uh, i re written an email to sorry one second uh the name is uh, Sherwood. Oh, yeah, uh, Sherwood. He's great. Sherwood yeah, Moore. Yeah. Yes, he does a lot of good work for the country, for the world, actually. Yeah, he basically uh, asked um, if we have a, a list of uh, people uh, who want to contribute to that project and uh, also with the, the skills, uh, they can um, send us uh, um, information about how can uh, we contribute to, to the project. I would like to use them as the um, guinea pig to try out our new templates when we're finished. So mm -hmm. I know they've always been for the past two years asking for help with documentation, whether it's creating a presentation people can uh, give out to like meetups and, and other hyperledger groups so that this word about this uh, special interest group can get out there. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you for going to that meeting and and I hope I find them when I can finally attend them I, I find them so compelling that I wind up volunteering so I try to stay away from them because mm -hmm. I have too much on my plate right now <laughs> anyway okay. but thank you for that thank, thank you too uh, Kajal hello everyone I'm Kajal and I'm the subcommittee chair of uh, templates so like i have mentioned earlier that i uh, uh wanted to uh, help the bevel uh, mentee so i didn't uh, hear from him uh, anytime soon like i texted him i guess he is uh, busy in contributing he didn't uh, see my discord message and also about the cacti uh, uh, i joined their uh, pair programming session like it's the uh, where the the mentees uh, share what they have done so the maintainer asked me 
to join the next meet which is today only to discuss about the project and what help they need in the documentation side excellent thank you and i also let me just go back real quick um when I come across information in the community that I find relevant for this um, task force, I just jot it down on our page. So the other day I got this information. Um, so I put it this just in. Um, so the special interest groups, all of them, whether it's the climate SIG or the telecom SIG, they have a quarterly call um, obviously once a quarter, um, to discuss topics relevant to the special interest groups um, overall. And Ben Thomas is giving up uh, that presentation. Now, he did give it to us a long time ago, but I think they've fine-tuned it since then. <clears throat> so he's giving that presentation, but just uh, for you, Kajal, for the templates, the new logo is out. So let me see if I can, again, I'm multitasking on this little computer here. I don't know how long it's going to work, but so this is a template for that presentation, which gives you access to the rebranding. So where is it? It's right there. So these are the new colors, the new looks, the new feel for Hyperledger. So if you're working on templates and you're getting any of them out there, that's don't use the old one, use the new one. Okay. And I guess this is the new color scheme. I Hello. Okay. Where it's more instead of the, the different shades of the blues, it's the greens. But you, before you use that for any template, you're really going to have to get the exact color numbers for the colors so that they're exact. But again, this presentation is if you want to sit in on it. Let me see if I can get back there. Oh, good. Is July 10th at 10 a.m. So that is just information for you. So if that helps you out, I hope it does. Uh, okay. Nico, you want to go next? Yeah, so hi, everyone. I'm Nico Singh. I'm from India. I'm currently a mentor for onboarding mentor mentee uh, program. And last uh, week, we had a meet with people. Uh, people uh, I guess the last week um, I had a meet with Peter, John, and Hari, and we discussed upon the deliverables for the projects. And we were supposed to meet Ben. I had a meeting with Ben regarding the branding and other stuff so that we can proceed with the designs and other stuff. But I haven't really heard from him. So we are hoping that he will be responding this week and so that we can move forward with the designs and other parts and start working on the improving the start here in site. Yeah, that's it. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, again, I know that the onboarding has the, um, different places that, um, folks can come on and you have the different people that can come on, but please, as soon as you know, a user guide need or, a a possible, um, something that this team can help write um, through our new templates, please let us know. And we'll be get, glad to get on that. Okay, Tripur. Hi, Bobby. Hi, everyone. So I am working on right now on the Solang documentation as mentioned before. And I'm also making a standard, you know, so that a uh, standard uh, report so that we can tell you when we are uh, looking at other documentation and we can uh, like see if something is missing and we can add into it and uh, i'm going deep into the solang project so the uh, solang documentation so that's why it's taking so long right now and i will uh, share both the standard report that we can use for like other projects and like if uh, anyone else wants to take up any uh, uh, like other documentation and they can use that and like see if something is missing or not in the user documentation so that we can improve the existing documentation first and then move to other tutorials and all that stuff for the starting so yeah. that's awesome yeah. next week do you want to uh, do a little presentation at this call to show us what you've done yeah sure that I, would be great yeah that would be wonderful Thank you so much for doing that. And so, so do you like the Solang project? Is it fun? I know it's one of the newer ones. I know really nothing about it. 
it's really fun and actually i'm very interested in solana <laughs> like uh, i always started like when i was starting with blockchain i got intrigued by solana and then i like oh, i started to discover everything about what is blockchain how we work with it so yeah i'm i i'm really interested in that thing that's so. awesome that's great thank you and victoria Hi Bobby, hi everyone. Um, okay, so I was appointed the um, best practices lead. So um, lately, I've been um, um, I've been trying to get like to understand what is expected of um, the subcommittee, and I would love to get um, more resources and um, insight on like everything expected. Cause I, I, um, had to use the search button to set best, best practices. And I saw, um, about five, um, links to different wiki pages, but I didn't quite get the whole, it was a lot of different things. So I would love to get more, um, like, um, insights, resources on how to really get the whole, um, what's expected of us. Thank you. I'm still trying to, for there it is. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get to where I need to be here. Okay, so I know the, I didn't know this was for automated pipelines. I just thought it was best practices for other things. So this is a different task force. It's like I said, that other one closed. So let me just see if I can. Uh, I'll stop sharing and find it in a minute. Um, let me just go here for a second, though. No, I'm not having any luck. Um, I will find that. I think it might have moved into task force badging life cycle, but I will get information for you, Victoria, on um, exactly what the best practices task force concluded every project should use as a best practice. And I, I'll get you a copy of that documentation piece for that, because that's basically tells you everything. Um, but I'll look for that in a moment. So thank you everybody for coming to the call. Um, we're gonna work on the presentation. Again, I don't know if we should get on the calendar for this week. A lot of people are on vacation and, and, and I don't think that um, we would, uh, it's up to, it's again, all up to Arunima if she wants to do it this week or next week, just let me know and I'll, I'll shoot Tracy an email and get on the schedule. Uh, for this week, or we could do it next week. It completely depends. You know, they canceled the call last week, so we're a week off. Um, so I'm going to mute myself and turn it over to Arunima, who hopefully will be working on with the committee heads to committee chairs to figure out what's going on each one of the slides. And I just wanted to mention <clears throat> that in this presentation, it really doesn't speak at all to our relationship with the other mentees and how we're going to help them. So as the leader, Arunima, if you want to just say that or add a slide for that, that's up to you. But I noticed that, that we don't tell the TOC that we're helping the mentees um, with their project. So it's all you now. Um, and I'll stop sharing so you can. Okay, so uh, I think then at the, we can add a slide uh, describing how uh, we as a team are helping the mentees, right? Yeah, or if you just want to mention that when you're, you know, doing your introduction. Um, yeah, sure. That, you know, say all these different um, initiatives we have, we're all going to introduce these to the mentees to support their efforts. Okay, sure. Should I uh, share my screen and show the presentation? Yes, whatever, however you want to go, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, sorry for this. Yeah, so this is the slide, and this is how the slide uh, starts. So first, we will be introducing ourselves and uh, the subcommittees, and in this slide only, I will add uh, add or I will talk about how we are going to support the mentees and their efforts uh, in various parts of the documentation. Um, next, uh, we have uh, the Git, and uh, then we are describing each of the subgroups one by one. So uh, this is one of the templates that I prepared for describing each of the subgroups. The first comes uh, GitHub templates, and uh, the committee chair for that is uh, Jan Luca. So uh, he will uh, maybe you know mention his contact email and a brief uh, intro about him. And here we will have a brief introduction about the GitHub template subgroup and its goals. And that's how I have prepared uh, presentations for each of uh, each of them. Is it not going? Yeah. So this is uh, this is where you know Kajal uh, will be uh, writing a brief about uh, herself and uh, a small brief about how the templates of uh, what are the goals of the templates uh, subgroup and how it is supposed to like help the other mentees. And similarly, we have um, one for the best practices subgroup, which is uh, led by Victoria. Then uh, we have uh, for the onboarding, which is uh, led by Akanksha. And then uh, we have for the user guides, uh, which is led by Agnes. Yeah, so um, that's uh, that's about the presentation and the six subgroups that uh, that we will be talking about. And uh, let me just share the link to this presentation. And I have enabled edit access for uh, for everyone. So each of you can uh, just go to the respective pages and edit these parts. So instead of like, uh, here, just remove the about user, user guides and uh, write a few points about the goal of the user guide subgroup. And so so each of you can edit in that way, just uh, maybe two to three lines uh, about uh, the goals of the subgroups and here uh, you can mention your contact email and about uh, you you can mention you know what uh, what are the project uh, like what projects are you interested in and a brief about yourself why you are here and what are you looking for here so that's how let me share the link to the presentation of the chat and i think it's also um on the document task force page yeah, yeah, I shared it on the documentation task force page as well. So yeah, here it is. So from here also you can access the link. link. And I have uh, enabled edit access for everyone. So each of you can go to the respective pages and edit them uh, like as, as, as you think, as per the goals of the group and write a brief about yourself. So that was uh, about the presentation and um, about the date. Uh, I don't have problem if it is held on this week or the next week. So whatever works best for the, I think, uh, community. And I think that would work for me. So if everyone is present in the next week, we can have it in the next week. Or, or if it works better this week, we can, we can have it this week only. What do you think about it, Bobby? I have a question. Sorry. Sure. Sure. Um, could you uh, give us uh, an example? I don't know if you um, if you um, do uh, one slide uh, for you, Arunima, uh, and uh, fill it. Uh, you you can have an example to how to um, how to do uh, our um, slides. I don't That's know if, sure. if it's possible. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Let me share the screen again. It took me that long to find my mute button. All right. Um, so yeah, that's great, Arunima. It looks it looks awesome. I think that maybe we should meet next week and just practice it one time and then go on the schedule for next Thursday. Um again, because I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people at the call this week. Um but the template looks great. What great work. Um, I do unfortunately have to leave at the half hour. So I'm going to let you guys continue to, to work on this. I did want to mention to Victoria that I did put some 
links to the best practices um, information. Again, I never found the GitHub repository that they, they came up with, but I'm sure if you start following the links on the documentation um, wiki page that I put um, there, and I added one for uh, Gianluca, because um, it also has speaks to what's the best practices for the GitHub repository. So there's some links on that page. Um, so if like we can show if anyone is objecting to having the presentation, not this week, but next next week, um, please raise your hand right now. If not, we'll I'll let Tracy know that we're going to be doing it on the what's the exact date of that? 13th. Is that right? 13th. Yes, the 13th. Um, so again, um, thank you, Runima, for all your hard work and Niku and uh, Kancha. I'm glad that we're moving forward with the um, onboarding. And um, again, next week, hopefully we'll be able to hear a little bit about what Victoria and Trapor is working on and um, Jean John Luca and everyone else um, when we do the uh, presentation uh, run through. Does anybody have any questions for me before I have to hop off? Uh, yeah, I just had to ask one thing. Like, uh, uh, we need to work with Ben for this. But like, uh, John John has tried, you know, he has mailed twice, but we haven't received any response because until we get in contact with him, uh, if we don't discuss like what exactly we're planning and it does not align with what Ben is designing, so it would be, you know, not really good for the project. So I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking about that. I always have a problem getting in touch with with Ben and getting him to respond quickly to 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 our needs. I would more focus the onboarding. Forget the website for now. Mm -hmm. I would more I would more focus on the places that you have ability to change, which is the um, the Sorry. wiki page. The LinkedIn yeah. page, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and then yeah. once you define the personas through those entry points, it'll just follow through to the website. Yeah, exactly. I would use just steal the color schemes and the logo from the new presentation. Okay. Yeah, you are right. Actually, yes. Even the feedbacks, they said like we can start, we like we and uh, John, Nico, and Peter were also there in the last meet. And we had like a, a really good discussion. Uh, so we come up with a lot of points like John suggested about the start guide thing on the wiki page. Then we had this, uh, uh, then we had this feedback from Arun, who is also in POC, I guess, that we'll be including YouTube videos and some tutorials type of thing. So that would be really beneficial uh, and it would really attract a lot of, like, it's like we have two different aspects of onboarding right now. One is the, uh, like the pages you mentioned, the wiki page, the Discord channels and everything. And the second one is website. So like as soon as Ben responds, we'll start with the website. And right now, yeah, as you said, we'll continue with, you know, with the things that we can change. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know like on the... um Even if you don't have control over the website, I know there um, I would, um, to get my head around it, face it from the personas. So you're going to have four personas, no matter where they're coming on. Yes. And he gave us, I had five, he had four. Mm -hmm. So I would start getting my head around, no matter where they come in, what are they going to need? What yes. buttons are they going to need? Cause it's got to be like no more writing, no more reading. Everybody just wants to click on a button. So what button will get them to the video they need, the user guide they need, the wiki page they need so that I would more focus on um, not so much the end product um, um, on onboarding, you know, to the different wiki, discord, LinkedIn, whatever, more when they get there, what do they need? Yeah, okay. And also just wanted to tell you one more thing, like what I did last week is um, because, you know, it would be really good. Uh, and even uh, John said that we should uh, expand our Hyperledger community and you should try including a good team. So I uh, like invited people who are interested in joining the onboarding team. And I got pretty good responses of nine people who are really 
uh, interested in joining our, our uh, the hyperledger onboarding team and i'll i will be today contacting all of them since i um, uh, got it uh, got um, in talk with john and nico regarding it like if we can have a good team so uh, we i have uh, people and once like project everything is decided and since the plan is also there so now i'll be also you know guiding all of them and uh, that's also one more thing that we did in our molding that's awesome yeah the more people and again um especially new people in the community because they're the ones who have the fresh eyes can look at all these landing pages and see you know that's confusing i don't know what you what they meant where i'm supposed to go exactly. for that so that's excellent thank you that's all right. from me okay anybody else have any more questions i do have to run um and I'm going to leave the meeting open for you to talk about the slides. And hopefully next week, you guys are going to do a great slide uh, run through of the slideshow. So, and again, onboarding um, task force for the TOC, I'm chair of both of those. So the onboarding, if they want, if you guys want to add a couple more slides to speak to what you're working on for this, um, I would like the same thing, Niku, to happen with onboarding that's happening with documentation, meaning that I'm not going to be presenting to the T uh, TOC every third week what you guys are working on. We're going to say, you know, we're going to work through the summer and at the end of the summer, we're going to have results for you. If that is okay with you guys, we'll just do it together. Victoria, you have your hand up. Okay, I wanted to ask, you said you dropped a link to some resources. I can't find them on the wiki page. Um, I put it on the documentation page. Hold on, let me, again, I'm only working on one screen, so it's really hard for me to do anything today. Uh, let me just make sure I did it and saved it. Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Could you tell me about the reporting thing? Like, uh, do we need to report to the PUC about uh, what project you're working on? Okay, so just a little history. Um, the TOC had created these task force six months ago. One was um, onboarding and one was documentation, and I was the lead on both of them. Then when the mentorship program happened and each one got a mentee, I did not put onboarding up for a mentee john did so then he's kind of in charge of that mentee and that project running forward um i put up a, a mentee ship for documentation and obviously that's this group here and the onboarding group as well um as the task force lead i have to report back to the toc like every third week on what's going on and um i'd like to stop doing that for the summer and work and then go back at the end of the summer and show them what we've done as a team and as a you know both our groups um so i want to end my constant presentations on these two task forces next thursday with one good really knock the ball out of the park presentation to the TOC that shows them what we're gonna be working on this summer. And then at the end of the summer, another presentation to the TOC saying that we met our goals. Did that answer your question? Yes. Yeah, it did. So next week, we're, yeah, next week we're gonna run through the presentation that um, you guys are gonna work on and then we'll present it to the TOC that Thursday, the 13th. Um, yeah, I'm on it and uh, ask about the uh, ask takes help from John as well. That. Absolutely, yeah, I would love John to be you know there for that and and do the um, you know speak to the onboarding part and make sure it's what he has in mind. Um, I do have that link if I can only find the Zoom room window now. Oh, I found it. So let me get it in the chat. So I put it on the documentation task force page. I put it, um, Arunima, could you go to the document task force page just so that I could show everybody where it is? I just put the link in the chat. Thank you. Scroll down a little. 
I'm almost done. So right there in that presentation for 7-6, it's going to be 7-13 now. I put those links right there. Do you see them, Victoria? Yes, Bobby, I can see. Thank you. Perfect. All right. You guys have a good rest of your meeting, and I will talk to you next Monday. If anybody has any questions, please email me. Thank you, Bobby. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now coming to the presentation and talking about the parts that you have to edit. So there is no need to edit this part. This is just the name of the subgroup and who is the who is reading the subgroup. And here also we have the name of the subgroup. What you have to edit is this part. So here you can just add your contact in your let me do it. Uh, so you can write your contact email and here is you know, two to three uh, three points. What you can do is that a brief introduction about your background, what you are doing and whatever it is. And then you can talk about the projects that you are interested in by something like this. Okay, so we have to make it left the line. Okay, like it's interested in interested in and if you if you if you have joined any of the meetings like uh, uh then you can give details about that as well Let's join so this this is what this part will consist of and maybe you know leave a line plan so that it looks good so here you will be mentioning your email address your a brief introduction about your background what you have been doing uh, about your studies or if you are working or your student anything like that then you can talk about the projects you are interested in, and then you can uh, tell a brief about the meetings you have joined, the kind of documentation gaps that you have figured out and you're willing to work on. Uh, so you can talk about that. And this another part that you have to edit is this part. So here also, like what you can do is here you can write the goals of the subgroup. So uh, in points, you can write that what are the goals of the subgroup. Just uh, write two to three points about the goals and how uh, as a Group, we are planning to assist the mentees, uh, mentees. So, what the GitHub templates is doing, and uh, what the sub, what are the goals of the subgroup, subgroup, and how will it it assist the mentees, mentees uh, this summer? So try to uh, cover a brief description of the subgroup, its goals, and uh, how it's planning to assist the mentees. The summary, two to three points. So this is uh, these are the two parts that you have to edit in this presentation. And each of you, for each of you, I've uh, kept this uh, subject slide. Like this is for uh, Jan Luca, and the next uh, slide uh, is for Sripur. And same way we have for Kajal. Then we have for Victoria, and then for Akanksha. Uh, and for Agnes. So this way we have six slides for each of the subgroups. And in the first slide, I will be briefly introduce the subcommittees and uh, tell about what um, what are the, like how are you planning to assist and support the mentees and fill up the gaps in, sub, uh, in, 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 in subgroups. So in, fill up the gaps in each of the projects by having five different, uh, six different subgroups. So here I will do a brief, brief introduction. And in these slides, you each of you will be talking about the respective uh, committees. So is that clear for everyone? Please let me know. Hello, um, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so it's clear, but I don't quite understand how um, we can impute the second point about the subgroup, like the one you mentioned for um, how you should assist the mentees this summer, like uh, so, relate. Okay. Okay. So for how are we planning to assist the mentees? So that is the thing that even uh, I didn't know that in this meet only like Bobby Nan said us that you know if possible we can write that how are we support the mentees. So uh, as a goal, what are we supposed to do? So let's say someone is uh, working, someone is working on a project, and our goal is to like fill up the gaps in the documentation in a project. So when you are filling up the gaps and 
making the documentation more readable, more understandable, more to the point, clear and concise. So we are helping the mentees in that way, right? So that if anyone who is new coming to the project and the documentation is clear, concise, and understandable in a way, we are assisting the mentees in getting a better understanding of the project, right? So I think in that way, we have to explain each of our subjects. And you can just write in that way. And if we have like any, like we will be doing a walkthrough of the presentation next Monday. So if Bobby Ma'am sees us to make any of the, sees to make any changes, uh, any small changes, then we can do it there. Is it clear, Victoria? Yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, just uh, to be- Sorry I... to interrupt, Arunima. Just no a thing. Yeah, I just wanted to tell like uh, right now, is there anything in on like, it, there is nothing like I can tell you for unboarding thing. So I really need to leave right now. So uh, is it okay? No problem. No, yeah. Like no problem. Just edit the slides. I have made the slides editable for everyone. So just go to your respective pages and do the editing. Just two to three points about yourself and two to three points about the group uh, you are leading, right? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll come do that by next call. It would be done. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, sure. You have a Thank lot you. of time for the next yeah. Monday. So we have a lot of time. So there's nothing to take much uh, stress about it. Surely, surely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Also, any of you have any questions? People, Kajal, Chandra. Hi, Arunima. Hi. So yeah, I have a few questions like Bobby mentioned earlier that we will be getting some credits about that we can transfer to our college and like our schools. Uh, could you talk to her about that part and what are the updation on like uh, about the chair thing and uh, how can we okay. show it online and so all those? There is one yeah. program I think going on which is like a, an unpaid version of this, but you will get an LFX badge for like LFX mentorship badge for that. I think she was talking about that only. I'm not very clear about this program. Okay, okay, okay. But I think you have to, uh, like, just like uh, the normal LFX mentorship program, we apply for it. You have to just apply for that and something like that. I'm not very sure about it. It's better you ask, you know, Bobby about it. So okay, yeah, sure. I really don't, don't know much about that. Thank you, thank you. Maybe you can email her. That's the best way to get in contact with it, right? Okay, thank you. Or uh, you can join the meet on the upcoming Thursday. So, and ask it right there. She is present in the Thursday meet of the yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, so, like, uh, could you please tell me what I have to do in the templates? Like, uh, I guess someone is working on the GitHub template and someone is working on the user doc. So is that not similar to, like, we have to create a template so that the new user or the existing user can uh, interact best with the uh, documentation or our website, right? So I'm uh, confused, like, what we have to provide? There are many template options on the Hyperledger website, I saw it and like, I was confused. Okay, so Kajal, what you can do is that uh, you can um, like uh, get an idea of what the uh, various template requirements and how can you fulfill that. So you can just get an idea. And if you're not able to understand the goal of the group and what to say in the meeting, let me know Then I will do a research on your part and uh, help you out with that, okay? Okay, sure, sure. First of all, what you can do is just you can go to the library and see all the existing templates and what other, like, if there is any description of the templates for, for something like that. If you cannot do it on your part, then uh, by uh, today or tomorrow, you can just uh, ping me on LinkedIn or uh, you can shoot me an email. Uh, I will, I will, I will, like, uh, see that what are the goals that the templates group will be working on and fill up the slides. And then you can have a look on it and then we can collaborate and decide what okay. we can see on the presentation on, on that right so, uh, yeah so so yeah, a template as in the document template right or uh, what is the part that you are working on uh, you are not audible okay so like you are working on the templates part right yes 
so what are you not clear about yeah so like there is a github template and there is a normal template so how is this different like github template is uh, the uh, readme section of github like that okay and uh, the other template is uh, like the documentation template or like what i'm confused in that because okay, so i uh, saw when saw on the website there is a plain uh, text template also and like many types of there are uh, images and graphics and all so i guess this is for documentation one okay so okay so uh, i would say that again like if you are confused about that part i would say that uh, you can just if any of you have any confusion regarding the subgroups that you are working with uh, i am doing i am doing a research or uh, trying to you know uh, figure things out and read more about the hyperledger from the existing wiki pages but if you could not figure out i would say you know uh, join the thursday's meet when uh, bobby also joins and ask her what are the you know goals and uh, goals and what exactly you have to do in the respective subgroups because i feel she is the best person who can uh, give you the best information about it right okay okay so join the thursday's call and get your doubts cleared there okay because okay. even i am confused about that part okay cool uh victoria do you have any questions okay so you mentioned a call is it this thursday okay so let me uh share the calendar thing yeah i think it should be there this thursday yeah so the 6th july the toc weekly meeting hyperledger toc weekly meeting which is at uh, 2 pm gmt let me share the calendar link with you all of you here so you can go to this part and um, you can find that in 6th july we have uh, every thursday we have a toc um, hyperledger toc weekly meeting starting from 2 pm gmt so uh, this is a uh, call you can join and Bobby Ma'am also joins that call. So you can get your doubts cleared there. Okay, right. Tripu, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, Victoria, welcome. Any more doubts? No. Okay, so then I think we can end this meeting here. And you all can, you know, start knowing uh, more of the subgroups that you will be leading and uh, start for working on the slides. We have one week to do that. But the sooner you complete, the less uh, pressure you will have on the towards the end. So uh, make sure that you complete them as soon as you can. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.